I'm up in our warehouse, so I just thought I'd do a quick review of the Abbas 158 series in closed shackle. The 158s have been around for a long time, super reliable, um, but only in the last couple of years have they actually made the closed shackle version. I think this is a big step because closed shackle padlocks are so important not least because combination padlocks generally aren't accepted for insurance purposes but many insurance companies do just say choose a closed shackle padlock in which case this ticks the box they do a couple of sizes in them but they've got the same really smooth reliable mechanism that you would expect from abbas and particularly their combination padlocks but this is the largest version let's have a look we stick it on the hasp here and as you can see there's just, because of the walls at the side, there's just no room to take a crowbar and get it in there. Crowbar attacks are the most common um, forms of attack. They're silent, they're cheap. And yes, people do pick locks. Yes, people do um, use angless, um, cordless um, angle grinders, but they're just so infrequent. They're, crowbars are by far the most common attacks and as long as you use, use a closed shackle padlock they're just not going to be able to get in there and they'll probably just go elsewhere so this Abbas 158 as I say um, they were popular before this adds to the range we do it in a couple of sizes but as a closed shackle combination padlock they're just fantastic really really great locks